the nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Why is the voice acting so good in this game? Good lord, this is a PS1 game, isn't it? Could've sworn it was. By the way, everyone, Welcome to my newest Let's Play, Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation. Hell yeah. And if I didn't say it already and it didn't get given away by the video description, this is going to be a blind playthrough. Now let's see what we got here in the opening menu. We got new game, load game, option, briefing, special, special, huh? And VR training. Uh, you guys can go ahead and just spoil what all these things are. Go ahead. I think VR training may be the only thing I have ever tried on this game before in my life. I do recall back when this game came out, I guess it was what, 1998 is what it says down there? My cousin rented this game. Uh, I played it for about 10 minutes and went, uh, not my kind of game. And I never played it again in my entire life. No joke. Never watched a Let's Play of it. Never watched anybody play it. And that goes for all Metal Gear, so Metal Gear Solid games. All of them. No, I don't want to see anything else here. I, I don't want to go back to the demo or another cutscene or something. But anyways, I've never been a big fan of the stealth shooter type genres. Like when I, Especially when I was a kid, shooters were not my thing. I completely sucked at them. I didn't even want to know. But... I just, I, I've had a hankering, guys, to play stuff I've never played before. And I'm just going to see what's in the options real quick. I'm going to keep the captions on, so if I talk over a cutscene, won't worry about it. Leave the sound. I'll leave the vibration on, even though it probably doesn't work. Oh, snap, it does work. Hell yeah. We'll make it strong. It's more fun that way. Uh, screen brightness, we'll leave it as is. That way it'll be all dark and spooky. And key config, eh, we'll learn it as we go. I'm sure there will be, like, a tutorial these type of PS1 games had tutorials up the ass. So, the question is, do I want to just start it up? I kind of do. I would rather the first episode actually start off doing something. And easy's probably too easy. Hard might be too hard for me as I, since I've never played this before. So, we're just going to go with normal, I guess. 
And yes, this is the first time I started the game. That was the first time I've watched those opening cutscenes in my life. Cool that we're gonna get to learn about Snake's like former team. I mean, the only stuff I really know about Metal Gear is just common knowledge Metal Gear stuff. I mean, it's a stealth shooter type game. It's got a supposedly amazing story. And based on the cutscenes and voice acting I've heard so far, I probably won't have a hard time agreeing with the things that this game is critically acclaimed for. But anyways, seems to be our opening little sequence. Oh, and by the way, the fact that I told you I haven't played much stealth shooters is completely true. Here, wait, hold on. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. Okay, I wonder who that was. It didn't say who that was. But he sounded very uppity. He's got long hair. But as I was saying, stealth shooters, I haven't really played very many in my life. I played some on the PS2, though, like Hitman. I think Hitman 2. Uh, Enter the Matrix was kind of a stealthy shooter. Oh, wait. Let's do what everybody knows about Metal Gear Solid. Let's have a phone call. Uh, see, this is the one of the things about Metal Gear Solid that Snake. I hella know. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. He certainly doesn't look very snake-like, but that's probably just because he has the mask and goggles on. Cool. So if we need to do something, we just press select. And now we're in this. And we're still going to see credits? That's actually kind of cool. Oh, snap. I just saw something in over here and I wanted to grab it. I didn't know it was actually going to be underwater. Oh, see. Okay, so you can actually go in the water and kind of hide, but you're drowning at the same time. Good to know. Well, as I was saying, stealth shooters I've played before include... Hitman 2, Enter the Matrix. Uh, I've played some of Goldeneye, not a whole lot. That's, that game's not very stealthy, though, unless you want it to be. Oh, God, we already have a call. Let's press select and see what it is. Um, I pressed select. Ah, oh, there it goes. The heck, Snake, man. You have to crawl to get through there. Oh, First, is that right? Crouch down by pressing the crawl button. And then use oh, the direction is that right? The crawl the button? Direction you want. The one careful, is the though. crawl button. Crawling is slow and you can't attack when you're doing it either. You can stand up by pressing the crawl button again. Oh, is that right? The crawl button, is it? The select button on this controller just sucks. Okay, so circle is punch, punch, kick, punch, punch, kick. I feel like we're playing... Whoa, what the heck? Oh, you can go first person mode by pressing triangle. Okay, that's cool. Let's see, X is... X is... Is X crawl? Oh, okay, cool. So X is duck. And you press it once to, to get on your knees and once more to get the fuck up. Got you. Alright. And up in the top corner I see a radar. And I'm guessing that those lights shining different directions are kind of showing the way that these guys are facing. So we'll be careful. Let's be stealthy, shall we? What was that noise? Oh, crap. Huh? <laughs> shit, shit, shit! I suck! I suck! I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently I suck. Oh, I died already. And this is why I don't play Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> All right, guys. Are you guys prepared for this failure that is going to be upon you for the next however many episodes this takes me? I'm not kidding. Yeah, that was no joke. That was not a fake like anything. That was exactly what you're going to see for this whole Let's Play. This is the reason why I'm not sure if I even wanted to do these games in the first place. But, we're starting with the first one, just to try it out. I'm not going to guarantee I'll play this whole Let's Play or anything like that. I guess we should be a little bit more careful this time. Can we, like, how do you walk? Is there a button to make you walk slower? How do you... Uh, I don't know how to knock people out, like, crap. I guess if I run, I won't be caught. 
I'm just gonna keep running until the evasion goes away. All right, cool. We made it. How the f do you like knock people out? Maybe square? There's gotta be a button that like auto knocks somebody out, right? Circle is like punch, punch, kick, but there's gotta be like a fucking button that lets you like do like a choke hold, so it's silent, silent stealth takeout. Aha! Oh no, that didn't help. Oh god damn it! Stop shooting me. So what? We can't kill anyone or what? We're just supposed to sneak through here, maybe. Maybe I'm not supposed to kill anybody. Well, whatever, guys. I got another game over. This is going to be the worst first episode of Metal Gear you've ever seen in your life. But then again, this is what it will be like. <laughs> I, I can't stress this enough. This is what we're going to see a lot of. I guess I should just be more stealthy and not try to kill anything. I think this is why I suck at these type of games. Or I say I should say I did suck at these type of games because I always wanted to shoot things. I never wanted to be stealthy. I just wanted to shoot stuff, man. I just wanted to shoot stuff. So if I sit right here, I should be good. I'm kind of trying to figure out a way I can like, walk slower. That's items. That's items. All right, let's go this way. Shit. Behind the box. We safe behind the box, hopefully. Okay, we alerted a bitch, but let's keep an eye out for the other bitch. Okay. We're good for the moment. It looks like there's only two guys patrolling here, so I can stop being such a noob. Stop getting caught so goddamn easily. Oh, I see. You can actually go up against the wall and kind of... Ah, that's interesting, too. Shh. He can't see me. And we're never going to get those credits to go away completely if we can't get to the next damn spot of the game. I'll tell you that right now. So let's just be patient. It is a stealth game. Seriously, what the hell, man? What kind of pattern is this? Could you guys stop going back and forth, assholes? There's got to be a better way to do this. Oh, my God. See what happens when you do a blind playthrough of something like this? This is the, this was like my worst nightmare in terms of what I thought this was going to be when I started doing this. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. All right, we're good. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Get out of eyesight. Okay, we made it to the elevator. Is that where we're supposed to go? Okay, press select before we fucking get caught. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Oh, well, that's good to know. We have to hide until the elevator comes. Okay, well, let's get behind this fucking forklift over here, which barely even looks like a forklift. And who's going to be on the elevator? Let me guess. More guards that we have to avoid. More than likely. Let's see what we got here. You can't see me. You can't see my... Clearly my arm is sticking out, but you can't see it. You don't see this. See, the elevator did have another guard on it. Hopefully he goes away. Or is he just going to stand there and turn around? Okay, good, good, good. Walk away. Walk away. Now go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. On the elevator. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You can't see me. You don't see me, Ninja. You don't see me. Oh, yeah. I got past the first screen of the game, guys. It only took two deaths. <laughs> oh, God. You guys don't even know what you are in for, do you? Then again, those of you who are watching this probably know exactly what I'm in for. And you're going to be entertained to no end. Oh, my God. This is bad already. Are we going to get to see what Snake's supposed to look like now that he's stripping down? Oh, yeah. Get ready to see some sexy-ass Snake. Mmm. Look at that bitch. Mmm. Hot. I don't know why I'm, <laughs> I'm praising a guy for his looks. But I had to do it. It's for my lady viewers. The, all two of you. <laughs> Not that any lady would want to watch Metal Gear Solid. I don't know. And if you're a lady watching this Let's Play and you like Metal Gear Solid... Shout out to you then. Tactical espionage ac action. Action. Espionage action. Menage a trois action. Well then. What next? Looks like we're going to be on just in the I just want to shoot guns. When do I get to shoot guns? 
When do we get to choke people to death stealthily? I imagine since it's the first screen of the game, they don't expect you to get too complicated. They expect you to just sneak and not choke people. But weapons and art and and fighting got to come into an account at some point. Why have me be able to do it if I don't need to use it? All right. Phone call. Phone call. Ring, ring, ring. It's Snake. I'm in front it's of the disposal snake. facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Hey, you don't shut worry. the fuck up. It's been a while, bitch. but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. I love the vibrations! Yeah! Even for cutscenes. Awesome. Good lord. That's a lot of vibrations. For that entire helicopter, the fucking controller went ape shit vibrations. I love it. And yes, we're gonna have to suffer through hours left until their PS1 loading times. Don't forget about that, you guys. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Is that all? Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. 
By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. You never know. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Motherfucking 007 over here hitting on chicks like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna have you strip search me, baby. If you wanna get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Pineapples? I don't see any pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I what is going on? Here. I'm surprised it doesn't make me do this myself. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay, so it looks like I have a couple different ways we can sneak in this place. But, are we going to be able to make it inside this place? I don't know. I guess I'll have to learn how to save it. I guess i got to go talk to Miss Racial Stereotype Asian Chick. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Uh, I figured there was going to be some cutscenes because, like I said, Metal Gear Solid is known for lots of scenes. But I did get to do a little bit of movement, and I learned some stuff already. So, hope you guys will enjoy this series. I know it's a lot different than what you've seen me do so far. Mostly RPGs and then Nintendo platformer type stuff. So, this is a real different type of genre for me. And I'm kind of excited to see how well I do in it. And if you guys are ready to see lots and lots of failure, come with me as I play Metal Gear Solid very blindly. See you guys next time. Peace.